You all right, Jill? Yeah, I'm actually doing really good. Look, got the guests sorted. Big tick. Well, they actually asked me to do it ages ago. I made some calls. I've had it sorted. No, they told me to get the guest, so here she is, Kelly. Hi, Kelly, you're right. <laughs> Jill, no, no, they meant Chloe Kelly. She's right here. This is Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. Welcome back to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE, where we are counting down the days till the World Cup final. And who better to do that with than my friend, Chloe Kelly. Hi, you okay, Jill. Chloe? Yeah, I'm doing well. Absolutely buzzing. Good, good. My friend as well, right? Yeah? Yeah, of course, Carl. Of course, of course. <laughs> now, as always, we want to hear from you. And surely by now you know how to do that. Use the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. Any messages of support, any questions, get them in right now. Chloe, I'm not going to get sick of seeing a World Cup finalist. How does that sound? It's amazing. You keep saying, what are you doing Sunday? And around the hotel, <laughs> what are you doing Sunday? A World Cup final. It's amazing. This is what dreams are made of. Oh, I've seen Chloe going out for food now. I was like, what are you doing Sunday, Chloe? <laughs> <laughs> Has it actually sunk in yet? Because this is what dreams are made of, a World Cup final. And we are going to say this so many times throughout the episode. But, I mean, surely you're finally now starting to realise, wow, a final of a World Cup. Yeah, I think... The start of the tournament seems like so long ago now and um, now we're here, the finals just around the corner. It's so exciting and you can see the smiles on our faces, just absolutely buzzing, celebrating and our families are doing the same dance Aww. in the crowd. So yeah, seeing the smiles on everyone's faces after a win is amazing, but a World Cup final, wow, incredible. <laughs> it definitely is. Maddie's actually got in touch with us on Instagram. She wants to know, when the final whistle went off, who was the first person you hugged? Ooh, oh, good question. God. Kira, me and Kira got this eye contact and we were just screaming <laughs> at each other. But yeah, I think those moments are a bit of a blur. Yeah, and obviously there's no time to celebrate because it's back to preparations. So how's training been going in the build-up to the big one? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, training's been exciting. I think the small-sided games are always very competitive, but I think... As bench players, we like to get out and the next day I'm doing a lot of small-sided and a lot of games and keeping um, loads of fun in it. And yeah, I think we're just having smiles on their faces and enjoying ourselves and it's very competitive still. Oh, look at the power <laughs> in them shots every single time. That is a strike. That is actually a strike. Now you are preparing for one of, if not the biggest game uh, anyone has ever played in really in the team. Does it feel different? Does it feel special knowing that, that, that it's to come? Um, for me, it's like, it feels like another game. Of course, it's a World Cup final and all the buzz around it, but I think every game for us is very important and the games getting to this moment is very special, but a World Cup final, when you grow up, you watch these games and it's a dream to play in a World Cup final. So I think everyone is, of course, really excited, but we have a job to do. So we've had a lot of your teammates on the show, as you know, um, and they always speak about just how you were made for them big moments. Do you feel like you thrive on the pressure of them? Uh, to be honest, I don't really feel the pressure in those moments. Uh, maybe it is thriving, but I just don't really feel it as pressure. Yeah. Um, it's just, I just enjoy the moment. And to be honest, I, me and Beth were in the line up for the penalty shootout and I just really needed the Wii, so that was all I was thinking about. <laughs> Is that what give you that power? I need a quick me score so that I can <laughs> live to the loo. I really needed the Wii and I was like, oh, I'll just step off and it'll be done. So yeah, that was it. And we had doping after and I was just like, oh yes, I need a Wii, so there, we there go. you go. <laughs> Jobs are good and brilliant. Great insight. Of course, we bring all of the insight here with Lionesses Down Under. Uh, let's talk about that game though. We know Spain are going to be tough opponents. You both faced them in the Euros last year. They won't be easy to break, to break down, will they, though? 
No, definitely not. And I think they're very technical. And I think it'll be a, a great game um, to watch as a fan as well. But obviously, Lucy and Kira playing in Barcelona, we have a lot of insight into their players too, which is great for us. And yeah, to see Lucy and Kira, the changes they've made since they've gone to Barcelona, we know the great football they play in Spain. But I think we can focus on ourselves and how we can break them down. We have a lot of quality in this team and it's really exciting. Certainly do. So 48 hours till the game. Is there anything you do to get into the zone before these big games or is it just kind of stick to my routine of, of every day? Any insights you can give us? For me, it's just sticking to a routine of doing things the way I do, recovering right from the last game, everyone. Um, but no, I think it's just getting a good night's sleep and the hotel's beds are really comfy, so <laughs> I'll definitely do that. But no, I think it's just important to recover and get good sleep in us. Yeah. When you look back on the last year, how proud are you of this team, the journey that you've taken last summer all the way to this one as well? How proud are you of them? Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing to be part of such a special group of players and staff. I think the background work that they do, oh. no one really sees it, but Kate in this picture going crazy. <laughs> I think it's amazing. We have a great set of players and staff and I think everyone always sees the team on the pitch, but the hours that the staff put in day to day, I think that is what is really behind us and gets us to these moments. But proud of the journey we've had so far. And yeah, Sunday night, amazing. Yeah, I think you have to give a big shout out to the staff, like the work extra hours. I think for me being on the other side and actually getting more of an insight into it, like they're putting in so much work for the girls to be prepared. So we'll give a big shout out to all the England staff here on Lionesses Down Under. So yesterday, you will have watched the show, I'm sure. We had Ella and Jess on and they really wanted to ask you a question, but... Have they been kind or have they stitched oh, Chloe no. up? Let's take a look. <laughs> hey, Chloe, our challenge for you is show us your best dance move. Oh, Tooney. <laughs> she said she asked me a question. Oh. So your best dance move, I heard that obviously, well, we saw them on, on the pitch after the game, didn't we? You, you've seen a glimpse of them. Have you got one for us? Uh, I don't actually. I, in the moment, I just... <laughs> Have a little, little dance. Two Just a, yeah. Okay, a little groove. Right. Yeah. Do, have you got a dance move? Yeah. Should we all join in? Okay. Come on. Jill's been waiting for this moment. Come okay. on. Okay, what have you got for us? Right, no, stand up. Oh we'll God. just send I'm sweating. We'll just, I'm sweating more now. <laughs> we'll just send a wave through. Okay, I'll do a little bounce of a ball and then I'll send it back and you bounce the ball. You ready? Yeah. Send a wave through. I don't through. know. Right, so you're. Go, Chloe. Can I go my left side? You start it. Oh. Okay, okay. It's I'm coming back, here. so you have to do both sides anyway. Oh, okay. God. Do you want to start on, it? You start it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, oh. Pass it back. Oh, God. God. <laughs> I reckon you could have given us a bigger dance move than that, surely. The challenge came in, the challenge was accepted. Do I'll... you know what? My heart is racing more than that <laughs> penalty. <laughs> is this a high pressurised moment for you? This is, I'm feeling the pressure more, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Do you need a wee? I don't need no, a wee. No, it's okay, all right, we're clear, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> right, well, I'm excited to bring on our next guest onto the show. Uh, we've just got her into the studio now. We'll say this, I did see her on the beach, okay, enjoying herself in Terrigal before. Um, we've kept her waiting for too long, so please welcome in Lionesses Down Under, a Lionesses legend, Kelly Smith. Woo! Come on in, woo! Oh, so nice to see you. Thanks Were you sunbathing on the beach? I wasn't, no. <laughs> Were you I not? was doing a bit of work, actually, oh, but enjoying been, the weather. Been working hard. Yeah. Oh. I saw you down there. What are you on about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was sunbathing. I was messaging Carl. I might be a little bit late. <laughs> getting some sunshine in. But, Kelly, welcome to the show. First of all, how excited are you that Chloe and the girls are going to be in a World Cup final on Sunday? Absolutely buzzing. I was at the semi-final game and the quarter-final game. I think they've done extremely well. I think they've built themselves into the tournament got a lot of momentum which we saw in the Euros it feels like a repeat um, mm -hmm. obviously um, winning the Euros last year was fantastic but to do the World Cup for our game for, for global football too I mean I just feel so proud to be English and watching them supporting them from afar so just got goosebumps like oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just amazing what they've done really captivated the nation once more yeah. and got more fans on board and I literally can't wait you said 48 hours I want it to be tomorrow do you know what I mean <laughs> I'm just buzzing for the game um 
you know, in the Euros, I was just sitting next to Kaz Carney, and when you won it, both of us were hugging, crying, wow. dancing. So I hope to be doing the same again on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it up. You've just talked about some of the performances from the team so far. How different is tournament football? And actually, how important is it that you've got to grow into it and the trajectory's got to be right for the tournament? Yeah, I don't think you can come in and play really good football all the time. It's about getting those three points. You can win ugly, which I think we've done at times, um, but as long as you're winning and, and getting through the group and then the round of 16, and you know, you've, you've, I think they've been playing a lot more better, attractive football, um, only conceded three goals, which I think has been outstanding. I think the defence has been really, you know, our, our, one of our strengths. I think Alex Greenwood has been phenomenal. Mm. Jess Carter, Millie Bright, um, and obviously Hempo has really grew into the tournament too, scored that that goal um, and set up Russo. All three of our attacking players scored in that, that game, 2-2, -E with what a goal that was, by the way, yeah. outside of the foot. <laughs> I'm even proud of that one. <laughs> <Top bins. laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really happy that our front line is clicking because you need that confidence and, and belief, um, having scored a goal, to go take that into the final. Yeah, and Kelly, I'm going to embarrass you now. Don't. One Fair of enough. the best <laughs> players that I have ever, ever played with. The amount that you did for the women's game in England. I remember moments where Oh we're God, in the U Wars. No. Take that picture down now. <laughs> you look older on there than now. <laughs> but I remember moments where we'd be in the U Wars and we'd need a goal, and Kelly would just get it and like lob the keeper from the halfway <laughs> line. Like it was just something that you normally would do. But what does it mean to you to have made such an impact on the women's game? Yeah, I guess when I was playing, I, you know, enjoyed every moment playing in English shirt, 117 caps, and it just meant the world to me every time I put that shirt on those three lions, you know. I remember the first World Cup um, in 2007, yeah. Jill, in China, and um, tears rolling down my eyes singing the national anthem because it m was my everything. I've always wanted to play in a World Cup on the, on the global stage. That was my dream. So I guess um, I guess the legacy that I've, I've left after... Um, it, it, it's weird. It's kind of weird, you know, saying um, people saying that what I've done for the game. You know, when I started playing football, I'd never thought I'd reach the heights that I did um, and the accolades that I've got. So I'm just, yeah, delighted to now see these girls, you know, taking over and, and doing um, so, so well for the country. Yeah. Talk about goosebumps. Wow, I mean, that's, that's amazing. Now, Jill, it wasn't only you that went through the archives. All right, I like to do this, OK, Kelly, uh, because I found this snap of you, Jill. And you, oh, Kelly, yes. as well. Uh, what were those days like? We won when that you... game. We oh. beat the USA. Yeah, we actually did. I remember. That's like me just watching two of my favourite midfielders <laughs> in the whole world. Um, just in awe, really. But, yeah, it was a great period, wasn't it, the times that we represented England. I do remember that game. Yeah. Um, I think Kelly probably scored. I think Rachel Yankee got a goal in that. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a friendly though. That was, I think that was the only time that I actually beat the USA was in a friendly. We could never do it when it mattered in a in a World Cup. Yeah. Um, but Carly Lloyd, what a player she is. Yeah. What's your favourite memories, Kelly, of like them times when you speak about that World Cup? Uh, what, 2007? Yeah, 2007, but even 2011. Um... I think 2007 was my most special because that's when I scored two goals against Japan. Yeah. Um, uh, and then two goals against Argentina. We got knocked out by the USA in the quarterfinals, and I was yeah. devastated. Um, but yeah, I think that the first World Cup was was super special. Yeah. What was it like playing with Jill? Brilliant, because she was just box to box <laughs> doing some, most of my defensive work. Um, you know, and she'd pop up with a goal or two from corners because nobody could compete with Jill's height. <laughs> but no, Jill was a fantastic player. You know, um, always wore her heart on the sleeve, um, gave everything for the country. And now she's given everything for Lionesses Down Under. <laughs> she is indeed. Oh, she is indeed. I used to work hard and then just give it to Kelly and probably <laughs> could play. But yeah, back to the current Lionesses. So the playing Spain in a World Cup final. Can we do it, Kelly? We know it won't be easy, but can we do it? Absolutely. Full, full faith in this team, having seen them grow last few years. Um, yeah, watching them perform and in high pressure situations like uh, Colombia when the crowd's against you. Yeah, right, well, people are also confident as you, Kelly. They're getting in touch on the hashtag lionesses down under. So many questions coming in for Chloe. Uh, so, Jill, I'd like to throw it over to you. Yeah. You somehow whittled it down once again. How many have we got this time? As the shows go on, we'll just get more and more. I think it's because the players are doing well, not that we're doing well. <laughs> but Annie asked a good question, although don't give too many of your secrets away. I love the skip you do before a penalty, 
but why do you do it? Do you know what? I think it's just routine. I actually don't, like if I stood here now, I couldn't do it. It's just in the moment what I do and how I prepare for a penalty. And I've done it for a while now. So and you don't actually practice it in training? In training yeah. I do, but like in here I wouldn't be able to do it. It's just my routine of taking a penalty and it works for me. And yeah, there's not really anyone else that does, does it, but it's something that I... Does it give you more power? More accuracy? I think it does. Yeah. I think it gives me more power, but I think... Without that, I feel a little bit weird. Like, yeah. if I was to step up for a penalty, I'd be like, oh. I've tried it in five a side. Um, didn't give me more power. So, it's just, it's just, so, yeah, I didn't get it right. Got work on them. Yeah, that's what I did. That was a dance move we should have got her to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Could have added, like, a horse or something in there. Right, so Hannah on Instagram. Oh, she's pretty eagle-eyed. She wants to know, is there a game plan around what colour headband you wear each game? Do you know what? No, I literally in the changing room, the physio, Emily, always has my colours ready for me and I just pick one however I feel on the day and, yeah, oh, go with okay. it. Ooh. I make them myself, so it's just easy. Oh. And Tilly got in touch with a good one. What's your routine of getting a good night's sleep before a game? And she also added, P.S. I'm so proud of you all. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> To be honest, I've got a little teddy bear that I have um, and I, I have it in my room every night, but I left it in a hotel and they said it weren't there when they went to clean the room. So I was like, oh God. So Alex messaged my boyfriend and was like, you need to get her another teddy bear. <laughs> so when I got back to the hotel, the next one, he'd got me another one. So I got a good night's sleep. Without my teddy bear, I don't really get a good oh, sleep. Oh, that's actually cute. You've got a teddy, haven't you? <laughs> it's one, there we go. I just, yeah, so I take this back. Um, thanks, Jill. Yeah, so, on my bedside, just I wake up, oh. I, I smile at Serena, and I bring it into the studio. My good luck charm. And also, we wanted to offer a huge shout out to Girls United who have raised more than ten thousand pounds for Girls Grassroots Session. Well done. Can we give them a big round yeah. of applause for that? Very good, very yeah. good work. We love hearing stories like that. And also, we love hearing from all of the fans because the love for you does not stop there, all right? We've got two people who are very excited to speak to you, Chloe. We've got Jack and Holly from Surrey, but they're on holiday in Rome, uh, all right? So welcome to the show. It's great to see you both. Welcome to Lionesses Down Under. Holly, how are you doing today? We're yeah. good. Oh, bless them. And we know that you've got some questions. So, Jack, what's your question for Chloe? Hi, Chloe. I'd like to know what it felt like to score the winning goal in the Euros. Oh. Hey, Jack. Um, to score the winning goal in the Euros, I don't think I can put it into words. It was amazing, amazing moment for the team. But to do it in front of our home fans at Wembley, it was incredible. Amazing. And Holly, you've also got a question for Chloe, haven't you? Yeah. Hi, Chloe. I'd like to know, what advice would you give for girls getting into football? Hey, Holly. Um, for me, I think just enjoy every moment. Play with a smile on your face and just play at any opportunity you get and enjoy every moment because I think it flies by. Yeah. I was a young girl not too long ago <laughs> looking up to Kelly and Jill and Kelly was my idol growing up and now sitting on the sofa next to her. I was really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Being more nervous on this show yeah. today than yeah. on the <laughs> show. Um, so, do both of you have a message for Chloe and the Lionesses on Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Go on, Lionesses, Lionesses. you can do it. Oh, that's lovely. I'm sure all the lionesses will watch this back because they love the show and they'll <laughs> see your message. So, well, guys, because you're so important to us, I'd like to send you a little gift. Is that OK? So you'll be receiving a signed lionesses shirt. How do you feel about that? Really good. Really good. 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 Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. To you. Oh, you're welcome. It was Jill. Jill got it <laughs> sorted right there. Well, I want to say thank you so much to both of you, Jack and Holly, for joining us on Lionesses Down Under. It's a pleasure to hear from you. Enjoy the rest of your trip, and I know that you'll be supporting the uh, Lionesses on Sunday. We'll see you soon. See you later, guys.
Bye. Oh, oh so brilliant. Is that? <laughs> really is. I was happy they were as that well. So well, we've got another question for you, Chloe, okay? You've done this once before. Last time, the question that was in there was, what are your green flags? Um, which, yeah, that, that was clipped up, put all over socials. There's only one left, so you've not got a choice this time. Okay. But you can Last open it up for us. It it's uh, written, obviously, by your teammates. They're all anonymous. Um, I said this one yesterday. Jill had given an hour-long coaching session that Georgia Stanway won. She threw it away. She threw it away. Uh, <laughs> that was it. the prize. Didn't so let's see what it. you get in this one. I did actually have a school get in touch, though, okay. saying, can they have the session? Are you going to go and do it? Yeah, I think I will, actually. Oh, really nice. There we go. Maybe it's a dance class from Jill. <laughs> <laughs> what is on your bucket list? Oh, what Ooh. a great question. Doesn't have to just be football related either. What have you got any? Um, winning the World Cup. That's a good one. Of course, win the World Cup. I think just to explore the world, I'd like to visit like Bali and stuff like that, Thailand, and just, yeah, yeah. be able to see the world. Of course, you see the world playing football, but. Away from football as well, it'd be nice. Well, win the World Cup and then I'm sure you can go on a, a little holiday. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. So, Chloe, as you were in our old Brisbane studio, do you like this one? Do you like our upgrade? It's very nice. Yes, yeah. I think it is, actually. It's definitely an upgrade, isn't it? But <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Now, I know your quads have a lot of power, but can your hands take on the tower? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, Kelly, how do you think Chloe will get on? I'm confident. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's Kelly, yeah, I'm going to go. I've seen a way she slowly she opened that envelope. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. 30 seconds, that's all yeah, you've got. Well, as we give you some more tactics and Kelly gives you a, a team talk on how to get on, this is how the other Lionesses have got on so far. Right, let's get 30 seconds on the clock. Three, Three, two, two one, one, go! Straight one. in. Oh, don't tumble it. You've got to go quick. No, you need to be quick. You've only had 10 seconds. Kyle, I'm not appreciating your commentary. Have a little feel around. I am trying, Jill. Come Do on, all the ones. There oh we go. My God, two at a time. Wow. 10 seconds. Can you? Can you? Five, four, three. Get one more. Get one more. Get one more. Quick, quick, quick. Ah! <laughs> you said pull it. <laughs> can you get another one? Another one. Quick, quick, quick. No! Oh! <laughs> 113 <laughs> I'm Go so on. scared right now. <laughs> so the rules are simple. I'll take you through them. That's my job because they're simple. So <laughs> you build it two at a time. Okay, you've got 30 seconds to build it as high as you can. The gold blocks are worth more points, so make sure you get them. You can do a little tap. Okay. You can take two out at a time. You can use your hand in case it's going to fall. I might give you a little tip, actually, you know, because I really like you. Yeah. Okay? You can get these two bottom ones out, but don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you're already having a look. Let's have a quick look at the uh, leaderboard. Niche are still at the very top, 113 centimetres. 45 points. She was using two hands, all right? And getting around yeah. the front. You can, we, <laughs> we've got Ella. cameras up there. It'll capture everything, all right? Don't worry about that. Uh, in the middle, um, Ella Toon, Jordan Nobbs, Lucy Bronze, 105 centimetres, 20 doing. points. Yeah. yeah. Jess yesterday, uh, 105 centimetres, 15 points. Yeah, you pointed out at Millie Bright and Alessia Russo. Zero points because they toppled the tower. I oh. got blamed for it. Please don't do that today. <laughs> You know, you don't, Blame you all. Don't, well, uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't tumble. tumble don't tumble okay. the tower. Feeling confident? No, but we'll gather <laughs> Come on, That's Kel. all right. All right. Uh, 30 seconds on the yeah, clock. 30 seconds. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, she's oh, having a little look. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Right, are you ready to go? Do you want to do this first? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, OK. Ready? Jill, three, <laughs> two, two, one, go. Oh, straight go on, in Chloe. there. Go OK. On. I'm only going oh, for gold. Oh, we've told you. You're only going for gold. Someone else made that mistake. Great, you got one out. Don't just focus on the points, all right? Remember the bottom two, Jill said. The, the, you've had I ten like the seconds. Fact that, um, she's just I like this. Board. Oh, nice. Okay, right. Great. Keep on going. Yes, doing well. Yes, You're doing really well. Way. What can you get? You got ten seconds left. Try and get. Go on. Go on. Get. Yeah. Oh, 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 be oh. tough. It's be tough. You can get, get one more. Go oh, on. You got four. Get one more. Get one more. Get one more. Just pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. All right, stop. Oh, that was so one more. That was nearly 113 that was centimetres right, okay. that would have been. Oh. it was 109. Right, oh, okay, well you got done. two golds, 20, uh, 25, 
and that was not yet yeah, 30 35 oh, 35 points what okay about this one? Uh, that doesn't count because you didn't complete it so oh, I, I know i'm sorry oh you got okay, third okay third third that is decent how do you feel about your performance there um rocky but it was all right you were so close at the end just got <sighs> didn't want to tumble it did you I, oh. I felt like just smacking it all down at one stage. We've had that maybe, before. Maybe Don't do that. Maybe did do that, actually. Yeah, maybe did that do that. But that's good. That's, that's a that's great score. Good. But I just wanted to say, nobody goes away empty-handed. I just wanted to thank you for coming on the Thanks, show. I'm running yeah. out of them because we've had 25 shows. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Well, everyone that's in the studio, give a massive round of applause. Uh, Kelly Smith and Chloe Kelly, thank you. Wow. Make sure, or oh, go on. No, go on. I, I always, I was going to let you do it. Make sure you join us tomorrow because Jill, who have we got? We have Rachel Daly is going to be here. And remember, you can catch us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok at twelve thirty UK time. Yes, and so make sure you get all of your questions in and messages of support for the Lionesses ahead of a World Cup final. We're so excited in here. Use the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. I guess that's all left to say is see you Saturday with Rich. <laughs> God. <laughs>